what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So although I had a pretty impressive record on my 2016 spike, um, for those of you that keep up with the leaderboards, it was not nearly close to the highest brawler ever. In fact, that record got smashed last season by I think like 400 trophies or something like that. So the guy that beat it was alive. He's a Japanese player and he pushed his 8-bit to 25. I forget exactly what it was, but like low 2500s. I mean, all 2500s are high, but just like 25, like 30 or something like that. Um, so obviously that kind of destroys my record and stuff like that. He did push in like showdown. So it's like a little different, but it still requires like a ton of dedication and effort. So props to him. Um, I reached out to him. He's a super nice guy and he also has a YouTube channel. So make sure to drop a sub to his YouTube. I'll plug it below, but he was nice enough to give me some gameplay and answer a few questions. So we're going to be covering that today. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm going to have the gameplay running just while I read over a few of the questions that I asked him and then we can just let the gameplay play and you guys can enjoy it. So he did push primarily in showdown. Um, the first question I asked was how many hours did you play a day and he said 16 to 18 hours which is way more than what I pushed. I'm not sure exactly what Asia matchmaking times was. We were looking at the other people that pushed 2000 brawlers and it was much better than NA's but there's a huge difference between 2000 and 2500. So 16 to 18 hours a day is insane. That's similar to what I did when I got 22,000 um, and you know, it's in showdown too, so I'm sure he had some rough days and some good days, but uh, 16 to 18 hours a day is insane dedication. Next up, I asked, uh, what modes did you play? And he said that he played showdown all day, except for when this map came out. And the map is a picture of Cavern Churn, which, you know, all grass in the middle, definitely not good for 8-bit. You may be, may be able to do a duo showdown there with 8-bit, but I definitely wouldn't want to go in there uh, solo showdown with 8-bit. <laughs> um, so on that day, he played the other modes he told me. I asked him, what other records do you have on your other brawlers? Um, he said, Pam, 1879, Jackie, 1420, Carl, 1390, and 8-bit, 1965, six months ago. So, wow, he is uh, he's definitely a very experienced pusher um he's done this before he probably knew some strategies to go into it with this it's all about like your mental and something just like being strong-willed uh so you know he's definitely experienced at this and who knows maybe we'll see him beat his own record in a few months or something like that because i'm sure he needs a break for now um next up i asked how many cups did you what what amount of cups was the most that you pushed in a day um, and he said he went up 300 trophies up a day the second day of the season. So that's a pretty solid push, but I think I think he was pretty consistent throughout it because he just kept, we were keeping track of him and we were waiting for him to kind of go down, but he just like kept going up and stuff. Um, so he was pretty consistent for the most part. Okay, um, next up I asked him what made him want to do the push. And he said that he wanted to be number one and 2000 because he couldn't, uh, hit 2000 six months ago when he pushed his 8-bit so I think I think he got a little more uh, than 2000 but it's really impressive that he got 2500 and you know props to him he said his uh, mind is something and he did it and he did most definitely get that number one and I really don't think anyone will come close to beating it soon I say that uh, but I definitely didn't expect 2500 um, but who knows what's gonna there's some other <laughs> crazy player out there that can compete with him. So I think, I personally, I think he'll hold it down for a while though. 2,500 is insane. Like nobody else has gone close to that. And then just one thing that he wanted to say is, I want to say it is not difficult to push 8-bit 1250, but it is difficult to push 8-bit to 2,500. You have to play almost all mode and need a huge amount of time for 8-bit and 9 new stage is terrible for me. And that is what I want to say. So he's Japanese um, and there is a bit of like a translation. You guys can kind of like understand what he's getting at though. It's just, I'm sure people will try undermining his push, like saying like he teamed and he told me like he did team, but it wasn't organized teaming. And I've had like people look at his game logs too and nobody could find any proof that he organized team. He wasn't getting like the same people in his games continuously, um, but obviously um, one other thing that he told me was that on the Asian server, it's pretty much standard to team at high showdown. 
and like for foreigners like us it's kind of like you know everyone hates it and despises it i'm not i'm not gonna get into that debate i'm sure everyone has their opinions already but he said in asia it's pretty common at high trophies so it's either you basically team or you get teamed on and if you want to get like some record like this you obviously want to be on the team um so i think it's part of the game but i don't think he organized team which would be the only issue i had um but nobody could find any proof that he did it and he told me he didn't do it so i i'm i believe him he seemed like a nice genuine dude um and yeah it's regardless of what some of your opinions might be it is a super impressive record i know i couldn't do that in showdown i know like <laughs> he's really one of the only people in the world that can do that in showdown let's be completely honest um so you know you can't really take anything away from him in that sense and yeah you can undermine it a bit because it is showdown but it's still super impressive and it's not like he narrowly beat the record he like smashed it he smashed it by like 400 trophies um so it's super impressive and you know props to alive for just doing all that okay guys so that is pretty much going to be it from the questions i asked him i didn't want to bombard him with questions just because there is like a language barrier and stuff so i just wanted to ask a few ones and just get his opinion i'm gonna let the gameplay keep running for i think there's one more game after that so you guys can just get a sense of what like high level showdown is on the asian server and just appreciate the gameplay and stuff but that is going to be it for me today um so just like i said enjoy the video the gameplay make sure to go drop him a sub make sure you drop me a sub while you're here too uh a like and comment go a long way as well so really appreciate that but like i said that is going to be it for me guys so just enjoy the gameplay and i'll see you all tomorrow peace